What's up YouTube, how you doing? Adam here and I am back for another video, this time again on the Mac Pro. This Apple Silicon Mac Pro has been absolutely incredible so far. I've had it for about a week now and I've been using it day in, day out. It's my daily driver, has been for many, many, many years. And a lot of you guys will know from my previous videos, I've had Mac Pros for a very, very long time, right the way to the cheese grater. Moved on from the cheese grater to the trash can Mac Pro. And around that point, I started using six 4K screens. Now, the 4K screens have always worked pretty well, but I've always had to do some kind of jiggery pokery to get it working. From USB dongles to eGPUs, right the way through to the previous generation Mac Pro, where it actually worked out of the box with six 4K screens. But I did have some beefy graphics cards in that particular machine. And even then, sometimes it was ever so glitchy. You could tell the snappiness wasn't quite there and the performance wasn't quite there, even with those expensive GPUs. And I had two of them inside that previous 2019 Mac Pro. The Apple Silicon Mac Pro handles this stuff absolutely flawlessly. I'll put up on the screen the specification of my 4K screens. They're 32 inch Dell screens. And bearing in mind the number of pixels that I've got, tens of millions, in order to get sharp actual backgrounds on these displays, the files have to be absolutely huge. And this thing chews them to pieces. And even though this isn't a real world, real life example of how you would use these screens, very difficult to do that without showing confidential information. One thing I can tell you, having used Mac Pros with six 4K screens for over 10 years now, is that it's never ever been as snappy as this when you're changing between these display spaces. You can see, I'm literally flicking the Apple Magic Mouse here and instantly it's changing. Sometimes what you would see in the past, especially in the eGPU era, was that certain screens would change at different times. And even with the previous generation Mac Pro, they changed at the same time, but they never ever changed as snappy as this. Now in terms of real life examples, moving applications between these displays is absolutely flawless. You can even stretch a video across all of these screens and it works flawlessly. Even a 4K video is absolutely incredible. I never really expected it to be quite as snappy as this, but it is absolutely flawless. And the one thing that's even more amazing is that this Mac Pro is not making a sound. Now, even on the previous generation Mac Pro, sometimes if you were maybe exporting a big file or you were doing some significant calculations or something else that really utilized those GPUs and CPUs, you could ever so slightly hear it in the background, but it was a very, very faint noise. An external hard drive was significantly louder than the old version of Mac Pro. But this one, the 2023 Apple Silicon one, you cannot hear it at all. And when I'm checking the power draw on this, it's significantly less, the heat is significantly less, and all of those things contribute towards a nicer working experience. Even though I have air conditioning in here, obviously the less heat that the Mac Pro is kicking out, therefore the lower speed the aircon can run on, therefore again, obviously less electricity, less noise, and just a nice and more pleasant place to work. So all in all, this experience of using the six 4K screens with Apple Silicon has been spectacular. Apple have finally said they support it. It really does work flawlessly, and I can't really tell you anything other than I'm extremely impressed. Now, some of the questions that I've been getting, First of all, why do you need six screens? First of all, I don't really like that word need. There's a lot of things in the world that we don't need. We don't need cars. We don't need lots of things. We don't need to take aeroplanes, but it makes things significantly easier and improves your quality of life when you do. If you guys wanna know the exact reasons why I have six 4K screens, drop me a like, drop me a comment, let me know, and I will try and get a video together for you. The other question I got a lot of is why did you pick the Mac Pro over the Mac Studio? That needs to be a video in itself. But again, if you guys want to see that video, drop me a like. Let me know in the comments that you guys want to see that video and I'll try and put something together for you. But before I go, I've got to say my first video back, I cannot tell you how overwhelmed I was with the comments, the likes, everything. It really did put a huge smile across my face seeing all of those comments come in from a lot of handles that I remember from many, many years ago, going right back 
more than 10 years even that I've been making videos on YouTube and I can only say thank you. A true, true, true thank you. Thank you so much. But thank you again for watching this video. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments. I will see you in the next one. Peace.